Hey guys, real quick demo on how to use these um, newborn backdrops. If you shoot your um, subject on a um, furry background, that's even better because the major if you're having a furry background, which most of them are, but I'll show you how it can you can make your life easier. You might think, oh my gosh, the extraction. No, trust me. So go to your selection tool here, hit select subject. It's going to make a general outline of your subject. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to get into your selection screen here. Now, if yours doesn't look like mine, just head up to the view. You can select overlay. You can pick your color here. And then my settings are usually feather between one and two, closer to one. And then I always do an output of new layer with layer mask. So I'm going to grab my refine edge tool. I've got it on the plus sign here, and I'm just going to go around the edges with a modest size brush. You don't want it to be huge or it'll take away from your selection. And I'm just applying these settings from this panel over here to the selection, which softens it. You see how it, it kind of branches it out? I am not worried about making it perfect for the, the, the baby's head and all that jazz because we're gonna use some of this, um, the fur here. So I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna right click, duplicate my layer to my backdrop and then here it is I'm gonna control T and I'm gonna flip it because the lights coming from this way so I want the baby to be faced that way and then I'm gonna plop the baby here and then I'm going to take my um, first I'm gonna get my black brush there's just a little bit when you do the just to get the little um, what do you call it line off from the extraction which once you apply the mask you won't have that but anyway so now i'm going to grab i'm going to go into the white and i'm going to bring my opacity down to like 60 and i'm going to brush that fur from the original image back in you see and you might be saying well it's not exactly the same color i can help you with that so what you can do is then and if, I mean, if you shoot with the same color, you're golden. If not, here's an easy way to fix it. You're gonna grab a solid color layer and you're gonna hit Alt and you're gonna clip it to the uh, mask below and then you're gonna hit color, okay? Then you're gonna click on the mask and hit Control I, that inverts the mask. You still got your white brush, you can have it at 100% and look, I'm painting the color layer onto the original fur from the, the original shoot. Don't get it on the baby skin, but I mean, you can go in and, and get the um, outfit if you'd like, but it's gonna also affect the skin. But the most important part is you're just changing the color of the fur. Everything else blends. Even the color of the outfit works. And guess what that does? That adds your original shadow back in there. So you don't even have to worry about adding a shadow. And you can go in and you can refine it if you're like, well, the texture is not quite the same you can just reduce your opacity and lightly blend it. So it, it, it's seamless. How easy is that? So you got that, popped your baby in, beautiful backdrop. And then from there you can blend as you would um, to, I would probably in this case, add a curves layer and bring the highlights down just a little to soften it. Voila. Enjoy.